In a nutshell, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have successfully used the USB to install Windows XP. With this comes a lot of cool additions. You get 7-Zip, you get all these accessories, which is your standard accessories. Games. I don't know what that is, but maybe you guys could comment. Okay, it's a movie codec pack. Okay. This is cool. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Tinktronics channel, where we tinker and you learn. Today, what we have going on is uh, we will be installing Windows XP from a USB thumb drive onto a uh, salt state drive. And this is going to be a Tech Tinktronics production. The prerequisites that we'll be needing is a spare computer, a bootable XP image, a USB stick, a program called Win Setup from USB. You can download that today. Uh, and what it does is it install Windows from USB, multi boot, and a lot more. And also, I have the SSD, which we'll take a look at right here. So, today, what I have is this Kingston 120 gigabyte. I think this should be plenty enough to run Windows XP indeed. And the initial steps that we're going to follow would be we would install the SSD. We would download the Windows XP ISO image. Now, you can, there's a number of different places that you can get it. Number three, we're going to write the image to USB flash drive. Then the computer that receives the installation will boot from the USB and the XP image will run the install for instruction. And number five, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up, comment, and share. With that, we'll proceed on with this project. Okay, we're gonna put that into my folder. Okay, I'm gonna like get out of the drive. Gonna eject it. Run this program. I think I'm gonna do a 64 bit version. All right, so what we need to do next is uh, we need to select the USB flash drive from Win Setup and Win Setup from USB. All right, flash drive is selected. Select the option Auto Format with FB and and INST. Now select all format and choose MTFS. Or FAT32 or 16 if you're on an older computer. Select the option X2000, XP2003 setup. And click the three dots button to browse the folder. Uh, 
Okay. Except. All right, I think we have everything that I could think of to do with this. Just say go. There's warning all data and partitions and jet flash. Physical drive one will be erased. Do you want to continue? Yes. Tells you what it's going to do. Go on to re repartition and format. All data will be erased. Da, 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 da. A backup of the first 64 sectors will be put in backups of the time band. If you need multiple partitions on the disk, you may do that later on using partitioning software. Run FBINST, force the line, it will be formatted NTFS later on if the option is selected. So I guess we'll continue. And then you can see what it does. I'll just let this do its thing. All right, I'm gonna have to film this portion of the setup this way because the capture device will not capture these specials, some of these screens. So we have the hard disk, that's gonna be our SSD. And I'm going to install from the jet flash that we formatted and installed the ISO on. Okay. The thing is, with these different ISOs, you're going to get different screens. So we're going to set up Windows now, press enter. Oh yeah, so we have to delete the partition. Oh. Enter. Format the disk quick. Uh, 
set up is copy in the files that we need. All right, so let's see how this goes. Hopefully you can get this going. All right. All right, let's see what we have. Special edition of Windows that like people make um, and uh, make available years ago. Let's see. Select the options that you want to change from the default choice below and the counter reaches zero, no choice is And I'm just gonna submit and let it install these programs to make this a very useful um, OS.
All right, here comes the moment of truth. I mean, uh, I've been working on this project a long time, and let me tell you, like, uh, through hardware failures and things like that, I had to troubleshoot. Hopefully everything boots up nice, and I'll just go ahead and switch the displays. This is cool. All right, we're gonna set our date and time settings. But uh, before I do that, I'm gonna switch displays. Set our time zones. Ooh. Uh, mouse is a little sensitive. Okay. That's too small for my likings. In a nutshell, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have successfully used the USB to install Windows XP. With this comes a lot of cool additions. You get 7-Zip, you get all these accessories, which is your standard accessories. Games, I don't know what that is, but maybe you guys could comment. Oh, okay, it's a movie codec pack, okay. This is cool.